Hello everybody, this is Lorraine from Canada with another Verbling lesson. This is at an upper intermediate level or advanced level and we're going to be talking about body language. So we'll look at some uh, vocabulary, some idioms, uh, some collocations having to do with the body. So if you have reservations for this class, you can come on in now. And if not, you can wait for three minutes and then the join button will show up and then you can join the class. So we're just waiting for people to join us. When you do, I have put the um, class material as a link in the Verbling chat. It's always a good idea if you download that so you can follow along. Um, otherwise, I will be sharing my screen with you and I have a PowerPoint uh, presentation so we can look at any answers. So we're just waiting for people to join us and we have Norel with us. Hello. Remember Norel to um, close the verbling window. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. That will make it easier to not have to listen to me twice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank so you we're too. we're gonna wait for a uh, couple. Switch from the room. I'm sorry. Could you repeat? Yeah. Um. I, I had some trouble with Chrome, so I just switched to uh, Internet Explorer. Oh and yeah. Um, I, 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 and I needed to, yeah, to close the verb lean. <laughs> yeah. It was easy for me when I was using Chrome, but... There was a problem with Chrome? Yes. Mm. Um, I don't know. It goes back and forth and connection gets cut. So, oh, yeah. And the voice go back and forth. But I actually right now with the Internet Explorer is okay. What I've been finding. Thank you for remembering. <laughs> <laughs> I have found that uh, if I shut my computer down and start it up again, when it does that, when the the picture keeps cutting out and the sound is wrong, uh, I found that shutting my computer down and starting it again has uh, made a big difference. Oh. So you might want to try that at some point. I know yeah. one day I fought with it. Oh my goodness, I couldn't I couldn't stay attached at all. It just kept dumping me and people okay. said I sounded like I was at the bottom of a barrel and <laughs> 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 So, yeah, you can try that and see if yeah. that helps. Thanks. Okay, I <laughs> I was hoping that more people would show up for this class. I thought some others would uh, would come over from uh, from the first class, but maybe they will later. So yeah. I'm going to get started, and um, for now, you have private class. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can ask me anything you want about this. So you should see a blue screen that says body language. Yes. Do you see it? Good. Okay. So take a look at that woman. What is her body saying? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, she is scratching her hair. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Scratching. Yes, she is. That's what she's doing. But um, what is what is she feeling? She feels like she is thinking about something. Okay. And is is she getting it? Like or is it a problem? Um it's looks to me like she's looking for a solution to something and cannot cannot uh, get it down. Yeah. When I look at her, I think she's taking an exam. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, and she's trying to remember the answer, oh, and goodness. boy, it's not coming. Yeah. Okay, and we have Claudio with us. Hello, Claudio. Welcome. 
Hi Lorraine, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So we're just getting the uh, lesson started with uh, body language and we're talking about this poor lady who uh, looks like she's having a lot of trouble getting an answer on a paper. Uh, Lorraine? Yes. The document that you posted, it's I think that the, the previous class document. Oh, is it really? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's funny. Because I, oh, uh, maybe I got it from the wrong place. Okay, well, I can't do too much about that right at the moment. So just follow along with the screen share, Claudio. Can you see it okay? Mm, yes. Yes, okay. I can. Yeah. I'll have to check that. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Uh -huh. Okay, so what your body does. We're going to put the body action verbs into the correct categories. So what are the categories we have? Claudio, can you read the first category? Claudio? Yes. Let, Can you let read me, it out loud, please? Let me send the, the screen. I can't see it. Oh, I thought you could see it. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it gives so, me to uh, Nureil. Okay, so click on my icon at the bottom of the screen. Make sure that my icon is the one that has the blue around it. Mm -hmm. If yes. you can do that, it should keep it. No, uh, start with uh, Nouriel and, and then I, I'll, I'll go. Well, actually, I am okay. I am seeing Claudio, Claudio profile. <laughs> well, <laughs> you too, Noral. Yeah. You, you have to click <laughs> on my icon so that it stays okay. still. <laughs> okay. uh, now, now I can see it. Okay. The mouth so just and yes. breathing. And breathing, good. And Noral, the next one. Um, I cannot see it. Do I have to click once, Lauren? Or just two? click on no. Just click on my icon so that there is a blue around it. Okay, and okay. I can just one a click or two clicks. I think it's just one click. Once it has the blue stripe around my picture or whatever is there, okay. I don't know what you see. And now I see your picture. Really? Yeah. That's strange. <laughs> yes. That <laughs> happened to me too. Okay. I just want to look at this. Now I see Claudia. Yeah.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yes, me too. <laughs> Well, I was trying to get the thing to work and I ended up <laughs> getting the wrong button. <laughs> and Claudio told me that the teacher dumped us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dumped myself. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen in these classes. Okay. So. The, the technology, technology could be uh, overwhelming sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> and um, you are right. The the um, worksheet is from the last class. I don't know why that happened. I think oh. I must have uh, attached the wrong sheet to uh, to the class itself. So I hope that we can end up seeing this screen share because I otherwise I'll have to. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll just work around it. Um, okay, so can you see the screen share now? Yes. Okay, yes. let's do it real fast. Okay. <laughs> so so the, <laughs> the very first word, uh, Norel? Yes. Okay, uh, the mouth and breathing. Uh, well, the first word in green is... Oh, it's a uh, verb. Verb, yeah. So you think mouth and breathing? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. It's eating <laughs> and digesting. Right. Mm -hmm. So where is a burp coming from? Uh, from the oesophage. Yeah. And, from, you know, from, from the stomach area. You're burping. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So that's why it's digestion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next one, I think it's, I think we do chew next. Claudio, chew. Chew, eating, and digestion. Okay, good. Is it, is it digestion or digestion? You can say it both ways. Uh, okay. I say digestion, uh -huh. but you will hear it done both ways. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so, Norel? The next yes. one? Cough. Cough, yeah. Oh, it's uh, the mouth and the breathing. That's correct, yes. So the cough is more from the lungs than mm -hmm. from from the, <laughs> the digestive area. Good. Uh, okay, the next one, Claudio? Hiccup. Hiccup? Hiccup. 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 Yeah, hiccup. Uh, the mouth and breathing, I think. <laughs> yeah, the, the hiccup is a funny one. Yeah, well, um, it could be the whole body. But it's... Yeah, sometimes it is the whole body. <laughs> but it, I think it is, uh, yeah, the mouth and breathing. Okay. Yes, because it, uh, it happens for when, when you uh, swallow air and, well, I don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really no, sure. No one, no one knows. No, and I, that's why I was back and forth between whether it's the mouth and breathing or whether it's eating and digestion because you usually get hiccups when you have been drinking something or eating something. Uh, too fast. Yeah, but I don't think it has anything to do with digestion. I think, uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I think you. There is a case for both both places, but I've got it in mouth and breathing. So that's good. Let's continue, Norel. Oh, uh, rumble. Rumble. I, I think the whole body. Well, there's something that rumbles, and it's usually when you're hungry. Oh, your stomach. Yeah, your stomach rumbles. Oh. So where would that be? Uh, we'll be eating and digesting. Yeah, well, good. Claudio? Shake the whole body. body. Yeah, the whole body shakes. Good. All right, Norel? Uh, shaver. Shiver. Shiver. Shiver, yeah. I think the whole body. Yeah, it is, the whole body. Shiver and shake. Okay. Claudio? Snore, um, 
the mouth and breathing. Absolutely. And Norel, the next one. Swallow are uh, the mouth and breathing. Swallow. Uh oh, when you swallow, you swallow food. Yeah, eating and dishes too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, the next one, Claudio. Sweat. Uh, the whole body. Body. Yeah. Good. And Narelle, the next one? Tremble. 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 Mm -hmm. The whole body. The whole body trembles. Yes, it does. And Claudio, the last one? Um, this one is tricky to pronounce. Uh, yawn. <laughs> yeah, yawn. actually, it's quite easy. It's yawn. 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 If you pronounce it like that, yawn. Huh? Yawn. Yawn. <clears throat> yawn. Yeah. So the A W N. The that is is really the W is not really pronounced. So uh -huh. yawn. It's a I'm funny not, thing. British British English probably uh, is yawn. It might be more yawn, yeah, like lawn. We uh -huh. say lawn, <laughs> the lawn. That's what the grass is out in front of your house. That's the uh, the okay. lawn. <laughs> <laughs> so my pronunciation is Canadian. But I think it's quite similar to American for that. Uh -huh. There are some words that are very different in um, the Canadian accent. And apparently, house is one of them. House. house. They say house. 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 <laughs> <laughs> say I know house. that the word adult in, in American is adult, in Canadian is yeah. adult. And adult. Adult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, Yon's um, mouth and um, the mouth and breathing. Yes. yes. Correct. Good. So we're going to try doing our writing exercise now. Mm -hmm. um, actually, since there's only the two of you, let's try going into. Um, uh, Google Docs, or I'll into, oh, there it is, um, Google Drive, and I will open a document, a create a shared note, and we can all try using the shared note. So, Norel, do you know how to get to the Google Drive? Google Drive. Um. It, it's uh, the it's the thing on my left on the top yes. of the screen. It's okay. the triangle that's green, yellow, and blue. Do you see the triangle that is green, yellow, and blue? Oh, I don't have green, yellow, and blue. It's on my left side. Oh. It's on the left side. Yes, you should see. Yes, it's um, Google Drive. Yes. Yeah, Google Drive. So try going into Google Drive. Mm -hmm. And then I have open a Hangout Notes. Okay. So if you click on Hangout Notes, you should be able to join it. Okay. And you will have a cursor that you can use to write with. Mm -hmm. So Claudio is pink. <laughs> His is pink. Okay. Yours will be a different color. So click on the page, somewhere on the page. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing your cursor yet. Oh no! Are we? I don't see it. Do Are you, you know? see? Oh, there, there it is. Yours is yellow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yours was on top of uh, of Claudio's, so I didn't see it. <laughs> okay. okay, so now you have um, a place to write. Mm -hmm. Choose four of the verbs and write a sentence for each one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Do you remember any of the verbs? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. uh, it doesn't matter if we choose from the mouth and breathing or the... You can choose any that you want. Just use them in a sentence. Oh, okay. So four different ones, four sentences, one sentence for each verb. Yes. Okay. Okay, Norel, can you um can you just uh, um, go down the page? Like, put your cursor somewhere else on the page. Oh, okay. Because Claudio is. Oh. How about that? Okay, good. Okay. So I think Kate joined us. I'm just going to go and greet her. I will be back in just a second. Uh, how can I do this? Oh, she left. <laughs> there she was, gone. Well, I hope Kate tries to come into the class again. So if you're watching at this point, anyone, we're um, writing some sentences using verbs that we have been studying. Mm -hmm. And this is happening in the Google Drive. So
Okay. So are you more or less ready? Finished? Yes. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I think both of you can see each other's, correct? Yes. Okay. So we'll start with Norelle since she has hers at the top. So would you like to read the sentence, the first sentence to me, please? Yes. I like to chew the food I eat very well because this will avoid me some digestion problems. Okay. So it, the sentence is good up to this will avoid me. We can't say it that way. It's better to say because I will avoid some digestion problems. Yes. Okay. May I correct it? Absolutely. Because I will avoid. Uh, because I will avoid some. Yes. We don't uh, need me there. I will avoid some digestion. Digestion problems. Okay. Okay. Good. So that one was for chew. Yeah. Good. Okay. Then the next one, can you read it please? Uh, me? Mm -hmm. Okay, I came down with the flu last week, so I had to cough a lot. Okay, that sounds good. Remember to put a period at the end of your sentence. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, the next one? I'm just trying to, oh, cough, right, cough is the word that we were using. All right, go ahead, next one. I swallowed a pill and I became, became a genius. That is, <laughs> <laughs> that is the dream I had last night. Okay, so those are two sentences. Oh. So after genius, just put a period. Yes. Because both are complete sentences. Yes. Okay, take away the comma. After genius, there should not be a comma, just period. And then space, yeah, good. Okay. That was, I think, that was the dream I had last night. Um, I swallowed a pill and I became a genius. Yes, was is better there. That was the dream I had last night. And because things happened in the past. That's right. No, we still have an eye on the end of was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Um. So this time, you're going to read it. And Claudio, I want you to tell me if that sentence is correct. Okay. So read it, Norel. Okay. Uh, you went swimming in the river while it was cold and my body was trembling from the for the rest of the evening after I got home. After I got home. Yeah. I went I, swimming. I, I went to swim. I no, uh, I went swimming is correct. Okay. She's using the continuous. It's a, um, a past continuous. Past continuous, yes. Mm -hmm. um. uh, I think the phrasal verb should be placed. I should say, I went swimming in the river while it was cold period after I got home comma my body was trembling for the rest of the evening that would be a better sentence yes. that would be yes. that would be better yeah sorry Claudio I uh, <laughs> I did the <laughs> correction <laughs> for you, you did my work <laughs> well 
Yes, Norel likes to make very um, descriptive sentences. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. she's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Well, she, she's, she's working very hard at uh, her English sentences and they're really quite good. Um, mm. It is difficult when you have a number of different thoughts going on in a sentence to yeah. make sure they are linked correctly. Yes. Okay. While you finish that, Norel, I'm going to start with uh, Claudio sentences. Yes. sentences. Yes. Okay. So, Claudio, read your first one. The young woman was shivering out of fear. Yes, that's good. So that's a nice, simple sentence, and you used was shivering. So the, the verb was shiver, and you have changed it to the what tense. Mm -hmm. What tense no, but, but, is... A past continuous. <coughs> yes, it's a past continuous. Good. Well done. Okay, the next one, Claudio. That old romantic movie always makes me yawn. Yawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, you yawn through romantic movies. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's right. That works very well. Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. Be because of the power of, of 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 the power the powerful sun, I was sweating like a scared little boy. <laughs> well, that's so that's an interesting um, uh, visual. Huh? <laughs> 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 what uh, what we usually end up saying. For some reason, and I'm not sure why, because I don't know if it actually happens. But we say, because of the powerful sun, I was sweating like a pig. Oh yes, yes. Sir. <laughs> but I don't know if pigs sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I well, know. In uh, a pig, it's like a pig in in the slaughterhouse. Yes. <laughs> something, something like that. Oh well, could be. <laughs> We never, we never go on that far. We just say <laughs> sweating like a pig. <laughs> okay, but good. The, the sentence is fine. It's very good. The next one. I swallowed the last chop, chop of, me, of, of meat and ended my dinner. Okay, so do you see anything wrong with that sentence? Yes. There is a present okay, Nora, tense. what do you see? Yes, what is the present tense? Swallow. And why should it not ah, swallow, be the present swallow, tense? Yeah. Yeah. Swallow. <laughs> yeah. I swallowed the last. Now, chop is an interesting word to choose because chop. a chop would be like a pork chop. Yeah. But if you swallowed the last chop of meat, to me it sounds like you swallowed the whole thing all at once. <laughs> yeah. Because a pork chop is one big hunk of meat, yes. <laughs> usually yes. with a bone in it. <laughs> you must be very hungry. <laughs> yes, I was. He would have ended more than his dinner, I think. <laughs> So, what other word could you use instead uh, of chop? Uh, chomp. Oh. Uh, okay, it is a word very close to that. Yes, yes, I, um, I have it in the tip of my my tongue, but. Um, okay. Um, so. I'll. Mm, oops. Let me. Chunk. Chunk? Yes, chunk. That's chunk. the correct word. Chunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chunk. And teacher, how about morsel? Morsel. Morsel. Yeah. Yeah, you could use morsel. Morsel. That's fine. Yeah, morsel is very small. Oh, morsel is very small. Yeah, but a chunk is a good way to describe meat. Mm. You could use morsel. 
but you're looking at something very small when you say morsel. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, very good, excellent sentences. Okay, I'm going to go you. back to the screen share, so we'll go out of the uh, Google Drive again and uh, go back to the screen share. I hope, yes, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. Okay, so we have some <laughs> pictures here. Okay. We're going to look at uh, collocations. A collocation is a, is a phrase that they always kind of go together. You say these things together. So they're missing one word in the collocation, and we're going to decide which word to put for which picture. So, Norel, the first one. Clap, clap your finger. Oh, no. You don't? Oh, so you don't clap your fingers. <laughs> what, what was the second choice? Snap. Snap, yes. You snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Snap your fingers. Okay. Claudio, what about the second one? Shrug, shrug your, yeah, your sh shoulders. Shrug your shoulders, good. And Rel? Okay. Oh, you point, point on someone. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, but that's not one of the choices in green. <laughs> oh. You gotta choose one of the ones that are in green. Oh. Oh. Uh. I'm just going to guess because I don't know. Maybe um, clench. Clench is correct. Oh, you right. clench your fist. <laughs> yeah. Clench your fist and then you punch somebody in the mouth from the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, if you had the, um, the worksheet, you would see that I switched the picture because the picture they used on the worksheet she didn't work. <laughs> it's not very good. Mm. So, Claudio, you do something with your eyebrows. Claudio, are you there? Uh-oh, did we lose Claudio? I think he's finishing his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or he got that bone caught in his throat. <laughs> Claudio? Oh no, we've lost him. Okay, Nora, what do you think? Uh, Which word's going to go there? I think uh, you... Um, uh, where is it? You, you, fr you frown? Frown, yes, frown. Frown. Yeah. Now, these worksheets are British, and in mm -hmm. Canada, you would never say you frown your eyebrows. Um, mm -hmm. Usually, you your you frown your forehead. Oh, frown. Usually, when you're frowning, your forehead gets a whole bunch of little wrinkles in it from yes. frowning, and that's what this this guy is doing. He's sort of you know is forehead's kind of wrinkled and his eyebrows kind of pull in together. So I guess... Um, oh, Claudio is here. Yeah, he's back. Yes. Having a little trouble with his internet. Are you with us, Claudio? Yes, sorry. Oh, good, good, good. So you missed the frown your eyebrows, but you get oh. the next one. Mm. Mm. Cross. <laughs> Yes, I would have said cross, but there is another word that we use. Fold? Fold, yeah. You fold yeah. your arms. And Norel? You clap your hand. You clap your hand. Yes. Yeah, very good. And sometimes when someone does something uh, interesting, a uh, teacher told him clap uh, on your uh, shoulder. <laughs> give you <laughs> yeah or I think that isn't that a pat a pat on the shoulder oh okay uh -huh. 
the clap sometimes gets used in uh, on a shoulder, but usually that's pretty strong. When you clap somebody's shoulder, you give them a good a good hit. <laughs> <laughs> But a pat, when you do something right, you might get a pat on the shoulder. Uh, how, how do you spell it, teacher, please? Yeah. Uh, maybe it's not going to work in the... Oh, yeah, there oh. it is. It was just slow. Pat. 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 Mm -hmm. Pat. Okay, so we're going to try to change these words. Now, I don't have um, any, uh, anything written on these, uh, these slides, so hopefully you can just get it. Uh, Norel, read number one, and you're going to change the I didn't know into one of those collocations, such as this example. He told her he was a doctor, but she didn't believe him. He told her he was a doctor, but she frowned her eyebrows. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's see. He asked me. Continue. He, oh, he asked me if I had seen his dictionary anywhere, but I didn't know. I shrug my shoulder. Yes, I shrugged my shoulders. Good. And number two, Claudio? Um, when he heard that his girlfriend was flirting with another man, he became furious. Okay, can I see the last? Yeah. The, pre mm -hmm. the previous. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Slide. Slide. It's there. Can you no. not see it? No. Well, maybe it will take a second for it to refresh. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, clench. Clencher. Yeah, clench your fist. So he clenched her, her, his, his, his fist. His fist. Yeah. It is clenches, clenches. When he heard that his girlfriend was flirting with another man, he clenched his fist. Oh, he clenched in the past tense, he clenched? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, because heard is in the past tense. Oh, okay. So if we were to say, when he hears that his girlfriend mm. is flirting with another man, he clenches his fist. Yes. Okay, Claudio, number three. Oh, no, it's uh, Norel's number three. Oh, okay. When their team won the match, uh, the match, the spectators were very pleased. Okay, they clapped, they clapped their hand. Yes, their they hands. did. They clapped their hands. Good. Claudio, number four. Josh was late for work again. When he finally arrived, his boss was looking very displeased. Um, Josh was very was late. For work again, when he finally arrived, his boss was looking uh, with with his arm fold, folded. Okay. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but no. Well, no, no, no. There is no right or wrong. Well, there are some really wrong ones, but there is more than right one right answer answers. Uh. Oh, it's been it's a late night. <laughs> frown. frown, frown, frown. Yeah, frown I would think he eyebrows. frowned his eyebrows. Although it says mm -hmm. he looked, it's funny. It's uh, his boss was looking. Okay, so looking very de displeased should looking should have been underlined. His boss was frowning his eyebrows. 
So when you frown your eyebrows, it's um, showing displeasure or disbelief because up here in this example, he told her he was a doctor, but she didn't believe him. So that can also um, be expressed with a frown. So disbelief mm. or displeasure. Mm. Okay. Uh, so number five is Norals. Yes, I wasn't listening to her. So she tried to get my immediate attention. She snapped her fingers. Yeah, okay, good. She snapped her fingers at me. <laughs> okay, good. Because it's past tense. She snapped her fingers. Yes. Okay. So let's take a look at these sentences and match them up with these little phrases. Okay. Uh, Claudio, read number one and match it up to the phrase. Uh, I'm, I'm still seeing the... the oh, previous. okay. Slide. All right. It might take a minute. No, no, no it is. Okay, good. She patted... Pat, patted? Patted. Patted. Yeah. Patted on me. Patted me on the back when I told her that I had passed my driving test. Mm, well done. Yeah, well done. Good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Yes. Norel number two. She, okay, she knew. She nudged. 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 She nudged me on the arm during the boring lecture. Um, wake up. Yeah, wake up. So do you understand nudged? Uh, nudge is like a touch you, uh, like a, like pinch, pinch, pinch you. It could be, but nudging usually is something you do with your elbow. So you're sitting beside somebody no. and you look over, you see they're going to sleep, so you take your elbow and you just sort of punch it at their arm. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a nudge. You don't do it hard. It's just just a little nudge with your elbow. <laughs> okay. <Thank you. laughs> okay. Uh, Claudio, three. Hey, you, he said, and beckoned me over with his finger. Hmm. Come here. That's right. Hey. And the word beckoned, do you understand? Yes, like makes signals with your uh, hand. Yes, but beckoned, um, it me, it's the same meaning as called. He called me over with his finger. Uh -huh. So it's, it's just a way, it's an old word actually. Um, it isn't used very much anymore. Uh, it's probably pretty British and in Canada I don't think anybody uses beckoned anymore mm -hmm. okay but you're right it just come here <laughs> good Norel number four okay for a second I thought she was being serious but then she winked at me so it's winked it Wink. sounds like a T on the end. Yeah. I will write, yeah. Because it's, it's voiceless. Winked. Um, winked. Winked. Yes, winked. Good. Winked at me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm only joking. That's right. I'm only joking. Okay, okay good. Claudio? I asked if she wanted to go to the cinema and she nodded her head head her head in agreement yes 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 <laughs> yes yes yes, yes. number 6 
remember so when his team lost the match, uh, he just sat there shaking his hand. Okay. Not his hand. He wasn't shaking his hand. Uh, just shaking. Uh, shaking his head. Head, yes. Head. Um, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. So he's shaking his head back and forth. This is bad. Now, it says to demonstrate them with a partner, but that's hard to do when we're online. <laughs> so we won't do that one. <laughs> but we do have some more idioms. So let's see if we can match up the idioms with their definitions. We don't have much time anyway. So, uh, Claudio, the first one. Don't take her seriously. She's just pulling your leg. Pulling your leg. <laughs> your leg. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Expression. You've never heard that one? Oh, this is no. very common English. No, I, I, I can. Uh, I can guess. Yes. Mm. Joking. Yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah, you will hear that a lot. <laughs> okay, Norel. Yes. Um, she was out of control, but her parents finally decided to put their foot down. Um, put foot down to deal with situation as, as it develops. Mm, not a putting their foot down. Think of the situation. It's a daughter, and she is out of control, staying out late at night, and the parents finally decide to put their foot down. Oh, what yes. What do you think they're going to do? To use authority to... Yeah, that's right. Now, it's interesting. You'll notice that it... This is plural. Their foot mm. is singular. But because it's a collocation, mm. you, you, it doesn't matter the tense. In this case, their foot down. You would, um, you would say his foot down, her foot down, their foot down. It doesn't, it doesn't change to their feet down. <laughs> The collocation does not work if you say their feet down. Okay, mm. so the collocation is foot down. His foot down, her foot down, my foot down. Mm. Okay, our foot down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Claudio number three. We don't have a plan. We'll just have to play it by ear. I think that could be A or B, but... Yeah, A okay. is correct. A, a is the mm -hmm. right one. Okay. When you play it by ear, you deal with the situation as it comes up. You don't okay. know, you haven't got a plan in advance, you just play it by ear. And that is a musical analogy. When you play something by ear, it means you don't have the music for it, you, you don't read the music. You uh -huh. just hear it, and you can play it. Mm -hmm. mm. Norel, number four. Mm. Number four, the two cyclists were almost neck and neck at the finish. Mm, they were in the same position. Yes, they were. And that word is cyclist. Cyclists. Cyclists, yes, not cyclists. Cyclists, good. Claudio, number five. Kate needs to go out with some friends and let her hair down. She's been working so hard lately. Let her hair down. Let her hair down. Relax and have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, relax and have fun. You let your hair down. Yeah, I need that too. <laughs> <laughs> and that comes from a time when women used to always wear their hair long and up in pins. Ah, okay. And when it's uncomfortable. 
<laughs> and when you get home, you let your hair down. You can relax. <laughs> yes. Let's make sense. Okay. Number six. I think it's Nero. Yes, I have my final exam tomorrow. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Okay, it's uh, hope that everything will go well. Exactly. Keep your fingers crossed. Uh, Claudio, the next one. Tell me what happened. I'm all ears. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to listen. Ready to listen. I'm all ears. Good. And the last one, Norel. Yes. Um, working in an open plan office can really keep you to toes, 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 toes. toes. <laughs> toes. <laughs> I have a big <laughs> sorry. sorry about that. That's okay. To toes, toes. Yeah. You, <laughs> you have to keep. <laughs> I think make you concentrate. Yes. Okay. So keeping you on your toes. It's um, ready to go. Always ready to go. You're not daydreaming. You are on your toes. And that means you're ready to go. Or you're concentrating on what you're doing. Okay. Are there any questions about any of those idioms? Yeah, teacher. They're teacher. all... Yeah. Just help me, help me with this world. Uh, I have, a, I have a problem with lunch and to, to, to. toes, toes, toes. Uh, no, I can, I can, uh, I can uh, easily say the word lunch and lunch, but yes. I still have a problem with this one. With toes? Yes. <laughs> 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 well, it's just like that. If if you have, it's also spelled like this, but it means something different when you spell it like that. Toes. Oh, great. Toes. Toes. Yes. So toes are on the ends of your feet. Yes. That's the ones with the ES. And oh. toes is something you do with a truck to pull another vehicle. You tow it. And, and how, how, chat. how do you spell when you make a toast, like in a dinner? That's toast. A toast. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Anyway, I just noticed it is um, on the hour, so <laughs> this class is over. I uh, thank you all for showing up, oh, Lorraine. all two of you. <laughs> Lorraine? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lorraine, can, can you upload the, 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 the slides anyway? I'm sorry? The slides? Can you upload the slides? Yes. In the, in the class upload for, the slides. For, um, for us actually, to... I can't, but... What I will do is I will attach the worksheet that was supposed to be in this class. Um, I'll send it to you on Google Plus, okay? Oh, yeah, or, or in the chat, in the chat box of the class. Uh, well, it's easier if I just do it on Google Plus and it will go right to you, okay? Okay, yeah, thank you. Because I, it's, I can't do it in the chat the way it is. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I do have to go. Thank you so much for coming, and I will post that for you, okay? Thank you. Sure, thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Have one. It was fun. Thank you. It was a good time. Bye-bye.